What's going on today, you guys? So today I want to talk to you about something that uh, I've been hearing and seeing a lot lately, and that is the KRK rocket breaking in period. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, because it's sort of one of those things that uh, you don't you don't really hear um, and you don't really read on forums unless you get pretty deep, is that these KRK rockets supposedly need a break-in period for them to sound their best. Um, if you're not familiar with the term breaking in, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, it just consists of somebody playing music um, or sounds on their monitors for a certain period of time uh, to essentially get the monitors to adjust uh, to their optimal working state. Um, so, you know, you uh, basically you buy a new set of monitors, you put them in your room, you hook them up, you play a bunch of music, and then your monitors will, um, you know, sound better after 15 to 20 hours or so. Uh, you could think of it as like putting on a new pair of shoes and breaking the shoes in. The thing is, um, most articles online will point to the fact that this is unnecessary. Um, and what you really might want to consider is not breaking in your monitors, uh, for them to sound better, but getting used to them in your listening environment, tuning them to your listening environment so that they sound best wherever they are placed. Um, it's, you know, it's just your, your monitors aren't going to, you know, get better the more they're played. Um, if you look at the KRK Rocket Manual, it does say the studio monitors will take a break in time to achieve optimum sonic performance. Uh, they, they say that you should play an album or play a song between 15 to 25 hours, and uh, it'll become basically punchier in the low end, more percussive in the high end. Um, I've just not found this to be true uh, with any monitors that I've ever had. Um, you know, the, there's... There... The only measurements that I could find online of uh, you know speaker parameters changing with these alleged break-in periods, um, we're we're all pointing to the fact that uh, it's it's pretty much a myth. Um, the the only thing that could really change uh, the sound of your monitor is uh, temperature. Um, one thing that that does happen and and can happen often. Uh, depending on your environment, is that the enclosure behavior can change slightly as, uh, as your monitors start to heat up and cool down. So let's say you're playing, you know, sounds or songs at really high volumes for long periods of time. Your drivers are going to get hot uh, and the temperatures of your monitors are going to change. This could change the sound. Actually, this could permanently change the sound if you're not careful. So it's one of those things that you do want to look out for. Now, is this a break-in period? No, this is just sort of carelessness with your gear. Um, you know, it's the same reason why you wouldn't want to leave your monitors outside on a cold or hot day. It's just, it's going to, to ruin the integrity of them. Um, and, you know, it will alter the sound for good. Uh, do you have to stress about the break-in period? Absolutely not. Um, you know, when you get your monitors, if you get your KRKs, if you just got them, or if you've got another pair of monitors that you're looking at, don't stress about the break-in period. Put them up, set them up, fine-tune them so that they sound good in your room, and leave it at that. You're good to go. Uh, you know, just know that it's one of those things that hopefully we can we can completely debunk after, um, you know, a, a good period of time. We'll see what happens. If you have any insights into the break-in period of KRK Rockets, or if you have any questions, please feel free to leave in the comments. All right, guys, take it easy.